Now in this video, we are going to study about system concept and design, which is a part of uh, the methodology and morphology module only. Now, what is meaning of a system concept and design? Now, system design is the process of defining elements for systems like modules, architecture, components, and their interfaces and data for the system based on a specific requirement or specified requirement. Now, this is the most common things what we use it nowadays. It can be related to mechanical engineering, it can be related to IT computers and all. So here, what is the meaning of system design? System design is a process of defining elements. Now, in case of our machine components, now it, it is defining of elements. Like it, in case of an engine, it is piston, cylinder, its power capacity, its shape, size, dimension, things like that. Now, again, we will go with the next point. It is a process of defining, developing and designing systems which satisfy the specific needs and requirements of business or organization. Now, here in case of a business or organization, we will go with a particular component, machine component. Now, it is developing and designing of machine component which satisfies our particular need of a power, a speed. Next, a system approach is required for coherent and well-running system. Bottom up or top-down approach is required to take into account all related variable of the systems. Now, here in this case, this systematic approach or this system concept, the main aim of this system concept is to make this system works smoothly. Now, here it can be go with the bottom up or a top down approach, means what from the primitive need to the final retirement of the product, or from the retirement of the product to the primitive need. We have to take all the things in account, all the variables in account to make the function or to make the component running smoothly. Next point we have it that designer uses the modeling language to express the information and knowledge in the structure of the system that is defined by a consistent set of rules and definitions. Now here it depends on the designer that how he designs a thing. Now in case of any machine component, he has to consider or he have to uh, he will have to consider the components like strength, like its capacity, its material. So these things are considered by the designer and there are particular guidelines which he has to follow it as per the design. Now these designs can be done by graphical or action. Next we have three types of designs, design methods. Number one is architectural design. In this design or in this type, here it describes the views, models, behavior and structure of the system. Next we have logical design. Now here it represents a data flow, input and output of the system. Like entry relationship diagrams, ER diagrams and the third one it is physical design. Now in this design it is defined or there are few points that we have to consider. Number one it is how users add information to the system and how system represents information back to user. Now this is simply a feedback system. Now if you are operating any machine, any component, especially a machine, then after giving a particular data to it or after giving particular input to it, how it reprogs, how it responds, that is important, that is simply feedback system. Now if you are using a bike and you are accelerating it, then the speed should be increased. So you are giving information of increasing speed to the machine and the machine in return is giving you higher speed. So that is the thing. Second, how the data is modeled and stored within the system. Now, in this one, whatever you are giving input, that must be stored in the system. Now, this is for a mechanical device. It is like in case of a bike, it is simply 
check it that it never stores it but in case of few mechatronics or the combination of electronics and mechanical it stores the data now here you can take example of four wheeler now in four wheeler we have but one distance measured indicator now in that distance measurement it measures the distance traveled by the vehicle so it stores the data you can reset it you can set it so once you will set it it stores the data that how much kilometers you have traveled similarly in case of a two wheeler also we have particular distance or kilometer indicator which indicates that how much time or sorry how much a distance you have covered whenever you use this third one how data moves through the system and how data is validated secured and transformed as it flows through and out of the system now here in this point we discuss about the validation now whatever it is indicating the distance which is indicated by indicator distance indicator whether that is valid one whether it is working fine whether it is storing properly so that is done in this process that is data validation that is checked by the maintenance team or that is checked by the first designing thing and if there is a problem then it will be recovered by the maintenance team so this is the end of this video thank you